Good morning, everyone. The day has finally come for us to leave Delhi. Today, we're headed over to Agra, which is the city where the Taj Mahal is in. And to get there, we're gonna take our first ever train here in India. We're pretty nervous because the trains here are pretty notorious for being a little rough around the edges, but we're also really excited to check it out for ourselves finally. So we're saying goodbye to our tiny little apartment here in Delhi, and we are off to the train station. Too bad. It's busy, but you know, it's India. Nothing really different than where we have been over the past few days. To be honest, I'm quite surprised that we have TVs here in the first place to show us where to go. So we are in like two seconds, we already knew what platform to be on. I think it's a win. Yeah, I agree. I'm pretty sure we go this way. Wow, this is big. There are so many train tracks here. This is a giant station. I think that's really handy and what we've been finding in India so far is that there's a lot of English signage. So it's not really that hard to get lost. Especially hard to get lost? Not that, not that hard, to, hard be to get lost. Hard to get lost. <laughs> I think that's great. Is it here this early? So I feel like that was a little bit too easy because I think this is our train already, although it's like 30 minutes early. So we're just going to double check with somebody that this is in fact the right train because we see people boarding and if this is the right train we can board now and that'd be excellent. Okay, next coach, this is the right train. This felt way too simple. I was promised headaches and unfortunate circumstances and delays and not fun, but this is great. Welcome aboard. All right, so these seats are actually a little fancier than we would have normally done, but we've only booked these a couple of days ago and there just wasn't a lot of option left. So we're in the like executive class. There's like the chair seats. They're not like the sleepers, the lie downs. I'll give you a little seat tour. So in front of me, I have a table with two little pockets for your drink, which I don't think are actually gonna help it to not fall out, but they're there. <laughs> a drink holder, that's for a water bottle. We have feet, stool holders, Feet holders, which are actually really nice. Oh, and they go up a little. Oh, and down. Oops. Okay, I've broken mine. That's good. There is a ton of light grip. Like, look at me. Okay, I'm only like five, three, five, four. But seriously, look. That's amazing. Obviously, a window with a shade, and you can see the humidity build up. The temperature here is super nice. Definitely air conditioned. And we have really comfy chairs. We each have two armrests. Space for our luggage. Of course, we put our backpacks above us. Do these work? I did not think those were gonna work. <laughs> you blinded me. Oh, and look at this, an outlet. One last thing I forgot to show you. A net for all your goodies, for all your snacks. Miko always makes fun of me because I love my snacks. Um, also, when we booked this ticket, you have the like option to include food in your ticket. We opted out, so we will not be getting food on this journey. It's only an hour and a half. We don't need a meal, um, but it is an option to get your food provided to you on the train. I mean, Nicole says we don't need a meal, but that's only because she packed like enough <laughs> snacks for four people. That's not true. <laughs> I will show you my snacks. I did not overpack snacks today. Thank you very much. Look. Snack tour. It's a very quick snack tour. This is a chocolate almond protein granola bar. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and another yogurt and berry and antioxidant granola bar. This is all my snacks. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I held back. I have reservation sometime. No reservation. Restraint. I have I have restraint sometimes. <laughs> I think I found something else. Oh, look at that. They recline. This is fancy. Oh man, if only I hadn't broke my foot <laughs> Yeah, these are actually really comfy seats. I mean, they are like the top tier for this train. Um, so you kind of have to expect some level of comfort. Uh, but so far, I'm really impressed. I'm so impressed. Also, you guys want to see my snacks? There we go. I got. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee mate. 
<laughs> Nicole and I love our coffee. We love usually putting creamer in it, but since it's hard to find creamer, we just put like this coffee mate. And um, we didn't know when we'll be able to get a hold of Coffee Mate again. Yeah, we found it in Delhi and we're like, when's the next time we're gonna find Coffee Mate? So we got the biggest pack and like filled it to the brim with some more that we had lying around. So this is my snack. Yeah. Ew, that's not true. <laughs> he has granola bars. I bought him granola bars too. Nico's <laughs> making fun of me for eating already. The train hasn't even left the station. Hungry Lake. <laughs> we are already diving into snack one of two. <laughs> You'd think I didn't have breakfast, but I had breakfast and coffee. <laughs> Just like that, we're off. It was on time. It was on time. Stop breast. <laughs> hey, we got a free water and a cup. That's pretty cool. And Nicole's already reading her paper. <laughs> Very seasoned train goer there. <laughs> food king. But I swear we're not supposed to get food. I like swear we have to get food. <laughs> I do not think I will eat it yet, in case it will be taken away from me. Thank you so much. All right, we took our food away. <laughs> Just kind of sad, because that actually looked pretty good. So it's an extra 250 rupees for a meal like that on the train, each person. I think I'll stick with my snacks, especially because it's only like an hour and a half, or an hour and 40 minute ride. I don't know, man, we're moving fast. You know, this train is actually moving like really fast. Yeah, it's like moving really fast. I, I thought it was gonna be like a chugga chugga choo choo kind of train and just like mosey its way along India. But uh, it's actually no. more like bullet train speed. Probably not bullet train not speed. Bullet we have to be going more than 100 kilometers an hour right now. It's fast. We're moving I, fast. It's almost like bullet train speed in a non bullet train. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. And in case you're wondering how to book a train in India, it's actually pretty simple. We just did it all online. You go to the website, IRCTC. That's like their official Indian Railways website. From there, you first have to register if you've never done this before. Um, you register online, you get like a user ID. And then after you get your user ID, you can then start making bookings on their booking system. You don't need a user ID to see train availability, but um, you're gonna need that if you wanna make any bookings. Although, this website is where you used to register. We didn't actually book our trip there just because we were having troubles with the credit cards and like paying for the train that we were looking at online. So we went to this website called Ease My Trip and that was a lot better at being able to accept our credit cards. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. Our tickets from Delhi to Agra, one way was 2,500 rupees for the two of us in the first class or like executive class, top tier of this train. For what you get, a very comfortable ride and a quick ride to Agra where Taj Mahal is, I think it's actually really, really good price. Successfully made it into the washroom. So let's look around. What do we have? We have look at that, a Western style toilet, a spot for seat covers. Unfortunately, it's empty. A window. A fresh break. A sink with running water. And look at this toilet paper. Awesome. The mirror. There's a light and it works. And there's hooks if you bring your bags in. And of course, a door lock. It's a small space, but not bad. I can't believe this. We're like almost there. This has just felt so fast. And it's been a really smooth journey. Really nice journey. The only trouble is we don't know how to disembark. I haven't seen other people disembark. I don't know if like the train keeps going. Like we think this is just gonna be a stop and the train's gonna keep going. So we think we like have to just like book it off the train in time that we don't get stuck on here until the next station. So we'll oh, be fine. Find a way out of this train. 
let the taxi hustlers begin. Uh, we hate uh, getting out of a bus station or a train station because usually you just swarm by people. Normally what we try to do is get an Uber nearby or like leave the station a little bit and then see if you can get a taxi because usually the rates outside of the station are much better than inside. Can you guys see how many people are following me? Oh, Nicole, Nicole's been <laughs> already been spoken to. 200 rupees together any hotel in Agra. Okay, so... One, two, three. This is really the tough part when you get out of like a ch station and you get swarmed. It's just you can't really think. It's like really hard to like think about what to do next or where to go and navigate and like try not to get hit. <laughs> but it looks like Nicole found an Uber and uh, it looks like we just have to get picked up from outside the station. The prices are like can be like quite different from a from a local like double or triple. So that's why we usually do an Uber because you're just like less likely to get overcharged. I must say this could be very overwhelming. You're not used to it, but we've gotten a little bit more accustomed to to this. All right. Okay, so originally tried to take an Uber because uh, usually it's a little bit easier. But the Uber was 150, and then these guys in the tuk tuks were offering it for 100. So while we were like walking through a ton of traffic trying to find well, our Uber, which was turned into this tuk tuk, I swear we saw this man like the he looked like he was in like police uniform or military uniform. I think police, and he had like a really pointy like thick thick like almost like a needle like, it was like a, a screwdriver. Yeah, like kind of like a screwdriver, and he punctured one of the like back tires of one of the tuk tuks. I like heard the air hiss out of this tire. I, like I don't know why. Is it that? Like that tractor's not allowed to be running, or they weren't listening to him. I have no idea. It was very strange. Just like all of a sudden, he was like puncturing this guy's tire. <laughs> I thought that like after we leave the train station, like we can get some peace and calm and a ride to our hotel. Nah. Nope. Nope. You don't get any of that here. Made it. I don't know if you guys heard that, but uh, he's definitely trying to get us to go to a different hotel, which we've heard is like a super common scam, unfortunately, here. Some people tell you your, your hotel is closed, or that it like, doesn't exist anymore, um, and so they'll take you to different ones. He was trying to ask how much are we are paying tonight. Your room, how much your budget? Oh, I'm not sure. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. We do want to stay there. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then, like, there are better ones, there are newer ones, there are closer ones. This one's on a noisy street. What's that? Very noisy road. Yeah. All sorts of things to make us go somewhere else. So he just kept saying, like, oh, that's interesting. No, we're fine. <laughs> over and over and over again. Um, I think we're going to leave you guys here. Yeah. Yeah, we got work to do. Editing so you guys can watch some more videos. Thanks so much for watching our very first video on the very first Indian train ride. First of many, I think, that, I think while we're here. Yeah, I think first of many. I mean, especially if like that, that was a treat. In the next video, we'll be exploring the beautiful Taj Mahal, and we cannot wait to take you guys along. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.